My daughter, you know, she comes home from school. She's telling me shit that I've not that I didn't know when I was 17. I don't know what she's talking about now. <laughs> I see a picture of her with two of her girlfriends and these three guys. They all go to high school together, and they're all doing this hand signal thing. Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> I thought it was a gang thing, and she said, "A gang thing? No, you don't know what that is. It's the shocker. This is the, the shocker." And I found out how it got its name, because when your little girl comes home and tells you that that means two in the pink and one in the stink, <laughs> it's pretty fucking shocking. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell her that her mom was six in the pink and five in the stink, but, because uh, <laughs> that takes a lot of maneuvering and an open-minded next-door neighbor. Two in the stink and one in the pink. Fuck, I'm 58. At my age, you don't know which the pink and which the stink is gonna be until you get down there. And you didn't need to know that, did you? Um, gives you something to look forward to when you're growing up. So my daughter lives with me and I wanna talk to her about sex because she's gotta get the safe sex talk from me. And I said, you know, you're a young girl, you're beautiful. You know, I can't control what you do, but be responsible for yourself. Don't leave it up to the guy. She said, I know, I know, condoms. I said, yeah, condoms. It, it's fucked up, but that's the way the world is. And she said, Dad, do you know how hard it is for my boyfriend to put a condom on when we're in the swimming pool? <laughs> and my dead grandmother appeared in front of me. <laughs> and said, Bob, I'll see you in about two minutes. Condom in the swimming pool, are you shitting me? I'm 58, I've had sex in a swimming pool once. And that was by myself. <laughs> and that's the last time I smoked pot, because I uh, stopped after that. I was really stoned and had this stupid idea about what would it be like to fly like a bird and come midair? Well, <laughs> birds don't come midair. That's shit that's falling on you. And uh, so I'm on a diving board. My bathing suit's around my ankles. I got my dick in one hand, the joint in the other, and I'm bouncing up and down. And just at that moment, I'm gonna And uh, see, that's the problem with being stoned because you know, if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't have tried that like at a public pool. <laughs> because everybody there wasn't into that fantasy. It's scary. I put my other daughter in a parochial school, and, and that was a big adjustment for her because we're Jewish. And, you know, we are. I don't give a shit. I went in there and said, I will gladly accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior if you promise that her hymen will stay intact until graduation day. <laughs> what they don't tell you when you sign your little girl up at the all-girls school is that right across the street from the all-girls school is the cock factory outlet. <laughs> Posing is an all-boys school.